frankly, I was surprised to see suddenly so many various news portals talking about Apple move to OLED across wide selection of devices instead of just being specifically used on iPhones. In my previous few videos, I've been mentioning possible OLED on MacBook Pro and iPad Pro models and what could happen. Now we got some speculations about the possibility that iPad Air could be the next one to jump on this train as well. But that's not all. Welcome to Digital Marketing Channel. My name is Marco and this is your weekly fix of Apple news, leaks, rumors and opinions. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button and don't forget to enable all notifications so you don't miss the next video. By the way, check the links in the description for some awesome offers and discounts. Yep, including some Apple products and accessories. Now quick ad, the intro, and let's go. CyberGhost VPN. Surf fast, stream anything, face no limits, hide your IP and stay secured. Up to 83% of discount with extra 3 months for free. CyberGhost VPN. So when and from where this story came initially? Korean IT web portal published news update with fairly unexpected headline. Apple reportedly decided to use OLED panels for iPads starting from 2022. The reason why this news did not spark enough fire could be found in from many angles. Everyone was and still expecting 2021 iPad Pro with mini LED, which represents the next big step in its evolution. Equally, if memory serves you well, some well-established leakers were quite vocal, saying it doesn't make sense, considering that Apple invested a lot of money into mini-LED, micro-LED factories, and obviously including this ongoing mini LED transition. This conclusion does make sense, but Apple is planning in the long run and their product selection is not strictly limited to pro line of devices. That means there are other potential Apple products that could also use mini LED technology, not only pro models. Therefore, mini LED can easily take over, for example, mid or maybe even entry level segment in the future when time comes. Reveal document from one global market research power house reignited the OLED story. And unless this document is fake, we may have quite a genuine source of information. No wonder why there are some really fresh takes on all this story on many other websites, including some that we do visit frequently. If you recall, in my recent videos, we had the chance to run through some aspects of this report. And if you look closely, 12.9 inch iPad Pro and 16 inch MacBook Pro are both confirmed coming with mini LED. What may look confusing is there is no mention of 14 inch MacBook Pro or even iPad mini with increased display. I believe there is no mentioning of iPad Pro 11 inch either. This gives the impression that the information coming from this document may well be incomplete or, as I have assumed in my previous video, only one of iPad Pro or MacBook Pro lineups could end up with mini LED this year. We should be aware that planned timeframes could be prone to changes. Look at what happened to 2020. So far, for both 12.9 inch iPad Pro and 16 inch or more MacBook Pro, Apple could easily switch to Quantum Dot OLED in 2022. Now, as I mentioned previously, there is one more iPad in 2022 with 10.9 9-inch diagonal, which should get hybrid OLED screen as well. While some reports are pointing at 2022 iPad Air as a device that will showcase OLED beside 12.9-inch model, I still believe it's just a smaller iPad Pro, even if current version is coming with 11-inch diagonal. But don't forget, there is a possibility that this document is not complete. Not everyone will access or approach this story from identical point of view. A recent report by Digitime suggests that the latest 2021 iPad Air with OLED display will move into production stage in 2021 so it can be finally introduced in 2022. While previous time I got really surprised with A14 in current iPad Air, I really don't think we're gonna see OLED as quickly on this mid-range device without previously giving it mini LED, especially because of many investments in mini LED technology. That doesn't change the probability that the product lineups for professionals, namely iPad Pro and MacBook Pro models, could 
include mini LED for only one year in the form of transition indeed as shown in this document we are still not done yet because there is a lot that needs to be covered I will make videos about possible scenarios for future iPad lineups soon where I will also share what I truly believe about the future of iPad Air so make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications and be the first to know in the meanwhile thank you for watching digital marketing channel my name is Marco talk to you soon have an excellent day bye getting your own website is the best way to introduce yourself and your company to the rest of the world with Bluehost anyone can have one a single click install with the most reliable web hosting out there get it today for only $3.95 a month